Hey, watch fans. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Here we are in uh, May 2022. And um, I think this this is actually a two-year anniversary of this uh, Yacht Master. I think I did a video for this about two years ago. Uh, wow, things have really, really changed a lot. Um, I remember when I bought this watch. Uh, yeah, this was like right in the uh, kind of in the middle of the whole uh, Corona thing, uh, and uh, the prices got down for about to about ten grand, ten thousand five hundred. I saw on Chrono, uh, you know, full box, full kit, and uh, you know, I kind of thought, eh, hey, it's gonna drop. Maybe, maybe I can get it for ten grand, and uh, it didn't happen. I ended up, I think, paying eleven, eleven five, maybe. And, yeah, but who, 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 who knows? Uh, anyway. Uh, I, I think the market actually right here is at a top. I believe that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this, people talking about this on uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, the, the market is topping out. Uh, the Rolex is going to crash. And um, I think they're right. Uh, you know, this watch, I for the first time I actually one on chrono because I was looking at something else and I was curious hey I wonder what this is what this is going for these days and I was shocked um they're going for like 20 20 grand for this is like I guess a 2020 watch uh 22 23 for a newer one you know box papers uh unworn uh, I think I saw some you know used ones for around 20. Uh, but that is that's a ridiculous price, twenty grand for this watch. I mean, you know, really, I, no. The watch has been very good. I actually wear it quite a lot. It's a very practical. I've talked about this before. Uh, the Yacht Master, I think, is really one of the most practical watches. I like the two tone, um, and I specifically I went with the rose gold chocolate because you know I never had a uh, you know the kind of bronze dial before. I like the color. Uh, although, if you recall. Uh, I, when I did the video, I said, hey, the smart bet would be to go with the uh, blue dial, the, um, it was, I guess, the platinum bezel, um, blue dial, stainless, all stainless. That's that's the smarter bet. Uh, but, you know, I um, I like two-tone. I mean, I, I just like the, the rose gold, um, even though I didn't think it would be a, you know, as good of a longer-term investment. And what's crazy is... This model is actually selling for more than the um, blue dial. Uh, I think the blue dials are going for like eighteen grand, which is still double double what they were, you know, two years ago this time. Um, but usually, usually the two tone would be selling at a discount to the blue dial, to the stainless blue dial. So it's kind of strange. Um, you know, I don't. I, I actually look. I mean, I I don't. I think this thing is is really overvalued. I mean, it really shouldn't be selling for more than you know twelve grand. I'm actually thinking maybe I should sell here. Uh, the problem is, what do you buy? What do you, where do you go? Where do you go from here? Right? I mean, everything else is inflated. Uh, the only other watch I'm really interested in right now is the uh, day date day date. Um, the 40, the day date 40 white gold meteorite baguette. That's that's you know, and I kind of missed missed them one a few months ago, uh, back in September. Now the prices for that one crazy. I see they're coming down a little bit, uh, but I do think look, Rolex is in a bubble, and here here is why I, I believe that watch prices are going to come down. Uh, look, what you've had happen in the last um, couple of years is you've had a massive, a whole generation of people who became watch collectors. Now, I don't know about you, but I can only wear one watch at a time. Um, and, you know, look, I have, I don't know, I got probably, how many, I have probably four Rolex. I mean, I probably have, I think I have about 10 watches, right? And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I tend to wear certain ones a lot, some, you know, whatever. This I'm, I'm wearing this watch more than most because it's kind of the most practical for me right now. Uh, but what's happened is, look, you know, back in the day, I don't know, maybe even 
20 years ago, right? Like back in, I don't know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, you know, people had a few watches and that was it, all right? Like, you know, you only you can only really wear one at a time. Uh, now you have, you actually have quite a number of people who've developed these collections because, you know, they kind of start to think of, at, of watches as a, as an asset class, allegedly. You know, look, it, is it an asset class? I mean, it's a collectible, uh, you know, but it's not a sure thing it's going to go up. I mean, look, these things are fashion, right? They go in and out of fashion. And um, here's so here's what I believe. Here's I'm kind of rambling here, but here's what I believe is going to happen. Look, we're going into a recession here. It might get quite nasty, especially with... There's been a lot of massive speculation, a lot of hot money, a lot of young kids have made a ton of money in the last few years, like too fast, too easy. Uh, Bitcoin, you know, some of these, you know, the uh, day trading stocks, uh, you know, scamming the government for the stimulus checks or, you know, whatever scams were going on with uh, the the PPP loans, uh, all sorts of government stimulus scams um anyway look there's a lot of people who've made a bunch of money in the last few years uh and now the good times have come to an end uh now what happens is the way human beings are is uh you know once you make you know you you make a million bucks and next thing you know you're spending close to that right so i mean yeah a guy might be making you know 100 grand one year all of a sudden he's making a, a million bucks the next year he's not spending you know 50 grand he's his spending goes up to 500 grand i forgot i forgot the economic term for this but there is a uh, there's an economic term uh for this thing by the way so here's the thing this this thing does have a couple scratches if i sell it which i might i would have to obviously do a very light buff and of course i have all the box papers everything you know uh yeah the watch has been great but anyway so you got. I think you're getting a lot of people who are going to be overextended now. And let's say Bitcoin drops to, uh, let's call it, uh, you know, what are we at? Thirty thousand. Let's say Bitcoin drops to uh, two thousand, which it can very easily. What happens then? Uh, you know, look. I believe people are going to. Yeah, this light picks up all the scratches. Sorry about that. This is not very flattering lighting for this watch. A lot. Of, very easy to pick up scratches in this lighting here we go a little a little more flattering um yeah so a lot of people are gonna you know they're gonna have to dump their watches now the thing is this right back then back you know 10 20 years ago somebody all they had was one watch so you know if things got tough they would hang on to that watch now you have a lot of people who own a lot of watches that uh you know they really don't need like do i need this watch i mean well actually i i do need this watch because i wear it a lot but you know i got a submariner that you know i I don't really wear it's kind of redundant the 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 two-tone the bluesy uh i got a day date uh the bark finish um you know i don't really wear that watch it's i don't i don't find it practical um i'm probably gonna i I was i was actually gonna do a trade-in for that one uh what else i got the i got a I got a got a couple of Pateks. One which what's which is the one which I'm not that crazy about. That's the um, the dual time. That I think it's the 5134. The dual time. You know, um, do I need that watch? Um, you know, thank God. Look, I'm I'm doing okay. Uh, I don't need to sell anything. But there's a lot of guys who have bought a lot of watches. You know, um, they have. You know four five six rolexes or whatever ap's patex uh you know or beyond that i mean those are these are like entry-level watches right those guys who are buying you know richard mill or you know whatever it is that they're buying 50 100 grand a couple hundred grand uh and uh you know those guys at some point they're gonna say you know what do I really need this? I mean, you know, if things uh, get tight, they're going to start selling those watches. So to make a long story short, um, the difference between today's watch market and the one that we had, you know, let's call it the last recession, 2008-10, or 
or uh, the year 2000 or back in the 90s. The difference is this. The difference is now the watch market in the last you know five years has been driven by, uh, I don't want to use the word mega collectors, but, you know, People who are buying more watches than they need. I mean, you see these guys who are, you know, doing these, you know, sending money to Archie or whatever to to review their collection. And you look at their collection; they got like uh, ten of the same Rolexes. They got the, uh, you know, the whatever the uh, what is it? The Batman. I don't even know the root beer. I don't. I don't. I can't keep track of these things. The GMTs. Uh, they got ten watches. They all look the same. They're all stainless. <laughs> it's. Uh, and how many of them do they wear? Now those guys, when things get rough, they're gonna they're gonna dump those watches. I mean, you never had this type of thing where so many people had multiple. They have like redundant Rolexes. Like my collection is not really redundant. I have like a few pieces. Like the Submariner is the only really redundant watch I have. Actually, no, I have two uh, Turnographs, but one is solid gold. Uh, you know, 60s, uh, the other one is a two-tone, uh, but those are like vintage watches, those aren't redundant, but the Submariner for me is a redundant, uh, the Day-Date, kind of redundant, uh, although I would like a white gold one, um, yeah, so the, there's a couple of watches that are basically redundant, that, um, you know, um, I would sell trade, but there are guys who have massive collections. They have 20 Rolexes. They're all the same. They got the Daytona. They have five Daytonas. They have uh, five uh, GMTs. Uh, you know, day dates, whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? And it's just basic Rolex. And again, Rolex is a, is a pretty basic luxury watch. It's not a. Um, it's not a. Um, it's not a Patek. It's not an AP. It's your basic, basic luxury watch. I mean, this watch probably costs, I don't know, $800 to manufacture with the materials, right? So um, what I believe is going to happen is that you're going to have these collectors who have 20 Rolexes that they don't really need. They're all kind of the same. They're going to dump them, and, you know, they'll be left with a few. So instead of having 10 Rolexes, they'll have two or three. Um, And what you're going to see is basically all this supply hitting the market over the next year. You're going to see a lot of supply coming into the market where people are just going to start dumping. And especially, I think, if they see prices drop, like right now, look, I mean, I'm even talking about selling this watch, maybe selling, because the prices have gotten ridiculous, right? And uh, look, the best cure for high prices is high prices, because when prices get high, uh, that's when supply comes into the market. People, you know, like myself, I'm thinking, you know what? 20 grand, I don't know, because I don't know what I would replace it with. If somebody offered me, let's call it 25, shit, I would take it. It's, you know, even 22 I might take because it's just, it's kind of a crazy number. Uh, it might be a mistake, but, you know. Um, yeah, so I would say, look, in the next, um, six, 12 months, you know, watches like this are probably going to go back down to, uh, 12,000, 14,000, um, maybe, um, yeah, I think pretty much we're going to see all the hype, all the inflation come out, the hot air is going to come out of the watch balloon, and uh, we'll see prices get back to like, um, you know, uh, let's say 2019 levels, basically. That's what's going to happen. Again, you get the market crashing, stocks are crashing, Bitcoin is crashing, real estate is probably not too far off. So the happy days, the happy days, the easy money, the easy money is over. The easy money is over. Uh, and now people are going to have to, you know, kind of get back to reality. Here we go. Here's the, the rehaul, right? There you go. Beautiful. Up close, up close and personal. Can I do a close up? Oh, no, this is, yes, the lighting here is very bad. Oh, oh this is actually pretty cool. You know, if I had better lighting, you could really uh, enjoy this. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, you know, leave your comments below. I mean, if you want to subscribe to the channel, not that I'm, uh, you know, whatever. But, hey, if you want to subscribe, that would be great. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Tell me, do you think that we are at a bubble? What are your price predictions on Rolex models? Um, whether it's Yachtmaster or whatever. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm really the only watch I'm really hoping or I don't know, hoping shopping for is I'm interested in only two watches I'm interested in a uh, Patek 3800 two-tone blue dial um, and I'd be interested in a um, a day date meteorite with a baguette diamonds uh, crazy watch um, but, but if I got those two I would definitely trim down I would get rid of the submariner and get rid of the day date uh, what else and also the uh, the role, the Patek, um, what do you call it? The uh, travel time, the 5134. So, yeah, I mean, there's really, you know, there's no need to have so many, so many of these watches. I mean, it's, it's fun to check it out or whatever. But um, I think this is actually, this is the time to get out, take profits right now. Of course, what you're hearing online is that uh, the dealers are not buying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all these guys are saying, oh, we got full inventory. We're not buying right now. That's, I think uh, I saw a video with, uh, what is it? Those guys, CRM, jewelers or a couple of other guys. They say they're not buying. So uh, what does that mean? The liquidity is drying up in the market. The liquidity is drying up and uh, the prices are going to come down. We've got a beautiful sunset right now. Here we go. A little, little view here. Um, okay. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.